Oh, well, hey guys, welcome to today's video where we are going to get the answer to a very important question, one that has been on my mind for a couple months now. Is Doja Cat's recent behavior and remarks going to justify this album? I really don't know. Today we are going to listen to Scarlet. It is 17 tracks. I have heard three of them. Just like the majority of the people going into this album for the first time, I've heard Paint the Town Red, Demons, and Attention. I have only heard them like once or twice, just because I honestly couldn't wait because of everything she's been saying. I'm like, I gotta listen. I gotta see like what this new creation is like this new music that makes the icon planet her a cash grab So disrespectful like I did not stream that album enough to pay for her life bills for her to say it's a cash grab I cannot dance to that album enough cry to that album enough think I can sing like Celine Dion to that album enough in the shower for her to say it's a cash grab girl do not disrespect her. I'm about to beat this bitch up. To be completely honest, I don't necessarily disagree with everything she's been saying. I think there was a better way to say it. I don't know, we're gonna talk about that in next week's video, so stay tuned for that. I'm kind of ready to shake my ass. I'm ready to maybe go to the pits of hell. All I do know is the demons video is f***ing terrifying. She's saying if she's sick of music, she can start making movies. A24, hit her up. I really hope I like this album. Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I don't care, I paint the town red. With everything that's been going on with Doja and everything she's saying, this is so fitting. And like, oh, again, I talk about it in next week's video. She could have made this into such like a big marketing thing with Scarlett, like an alter ego. Scarlett takes over her Twitter and then say all that. And then like Doja take back the power. Like Scarlett could have represented, and it probably still does and it can represent like the music industry and greedy hungry people and like fans who think they can be managers, which like Loki, I kinda am. Oh, it just makes me frustrated. Fans ain't dumb, but extreme is all. And that's for any fandom. Any fandom you look at, they're gonna be the most embarrassing, cringy people and the ones who just want some good ass music. I read the be famous. I really wanna like this album. <laughs> That's Miss Paint the Town Red. I mean, it's funny because is she anything extraordinary? Is she anything crazy? No, but she's fun. And it's okay to like shit like that. Now you get to this. The first time I heard, I've only heard it like twice. And it scared the shit out of me. The video, the song is like, why is she yelling at me? But that sec second verse, third verse, if I get up, ignore it. <laughs> I kind of like it. It took like a listen or two, but I kind of like it. It goes well with Paint the Town Red. Like it's a good transition. Granted, we need to hear the next track. Wet Vagina, Wet Vagine, Wet Coochie, Lil Coo. <laughs> to see like what the rest of the sound is. That's what I'm curious about. Because if it's like a I don't want to say hard, because that makes me sound extremely white and middle-aged, which I'm one of those things. But there's more bass to it, there's more power, there's more anger. And I want to see if that continues, because Paint the Town Red, it's like a very subtle anger. If you read in between the lines, it's like, oh, she's over this. <laughs> like, she's done. And now with Demons, it's like, yeah, I'm a bitch. I have these thoughts, I say them, I may not be perfect. What do you think? How, how do they look? We are enemies. We are foes. Who are you? What are those? Am I supposed to think of um, Miss Northwest? Is she a ghostwriter? Cause that's all that goes in my head. What are those? These are clothes. What are those? These are clothes. It's this part, this part. I'm a puppet. So it is the second verse. I'm, I'm a, a cash, cash cow. cow. Are tired, tired of me cause I'm on your ass now. <laughs> A little cinematic, no? Move out the way, cause here come giants. I bring a drip with wet vagina. I bring a drip with wet. Okay, let me hear the verse. So far, not. Had to draw a long line in the sand. Now I see a lot of long lines at the venue. The production is stellar. I would love just an instrumental. Stroke it like he's straight, but they think my nigga gay. We've been making very many people upset. Yeah. The way, like, if my dick was hard listening to this. <laughs> like, why'd you have to bring him into it? Like, I get it. Stand by your man, but like, maybe not that one. I don't know. I don't know them. Whatever. Pretty face plastic. Kardashian, <laughs> Damn. Kick me 
welcome it, but I really run fashion. Was she really? Oh my gosh, she had like the best look last year. Her showing up as a cat and then only speaking in cat, only meowing during her interviews. That's f***ing camp. That's what we want at the Met. I bring a drip with wet vagina. I bring a drip with wet vagina. I bring a drip. Okay, so I don't know how I feel. I love the production on this one. Like, this is good. Like, hearing this live, but okay. I don't know. I. She, mm, we'll have to sit on her, which makes me sad. Like, her title's Wet Vagina. I needed her to be a little gushy. <laughs> I needed her to be gushy ushy, but she was giving dry, possibly needing monistat. What am I even saying at this point? We'll see how that one grows on me. Not super impressed, not gravitating towards it right away, but it is answering my question about it kind of following more of the demon's sound. I mean, we'll see the next song, but I really think Paint the Town Red because it does have that similar soundscape to Planet Her, all of her past projects. I think that was a really good transition point of like, this is what you're used to but don't get used to it, you know? Okay, so let's, oh. Oh, she won't say it that way though, huh? Ooh, it's still dark. Fuck the girls, they ain't with me, then they with me so damn well, stay saying fuck the girls, fuck, fuck the girls. girls. Don't let girls live, but that ain't kidding me. Now fuck you, ho, you need a cookie cause you hate and I can stuff you, ho. I smoke in that Regina, becoming all that you shouldn't be. Like Regina George, like Mean Girls, I get it, I hear it. See, I haven't been wronged like this. I don't have this energy. I'm happy it was short. I will say that. That's the girls. We're going on track five already, and I haven't found one. I mean, I like the singles. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this might be my song. Oh, 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 oh. This is another thing, because it happened on Planet Her. I will talk about Planet Her forever. Something that happened a lot on Planet Her that I loved was the blend of so many different genres, so many different sounds. You could totally hear what Doja listens to in her real life, what she's been inspired by, and maybe even things that have like very significant meaning to her. This is gonna be my song. I can already tell you that. Bye. Let me get it started. In 2050, they will know you oldest. A hundred billies, I'm the goat, no eyelash. You Woo! Why is this one so short? Round three. Know who you're talking to, show respect. I appreciate it, I respect that. Honestly, ouchies is for the girls and the girls. Why was it so f***ing short? What the hell? And there was like so many bars in that one. The other ones I was like, okay, like I kind of see where you're getting at, I see what you're doing. Ouchies was hit after hit after hit. Ouchies so far, standout track. Standout track for sure. Looks like we don't give a shit. Looks like we don't give a shit. I feel like that's everybody in LA. That's the aura of like, we don't give a shit, we're just so cool. When everybody gives a shit. <laughs> we walk in they Ooh, walk in she sounds good on this one. The little raspy. Mmm, delicious. Said these are clothes, motherfucker, what are those? Oh my god, Northwest! Now you coming back in! Oh my god, I hope she's getting her royalties. I like when they plead and beg and please. Now where the fuck is those? Pull up and they smiley instead. Like they wasn't trying to fight me in threads. I don't inherently disagree with what Doja is saying. A lot of the points she's making, I'm like, yeah, you're not wrong. And then, you know, and people bring up concerns, which I, again, I get, it's like not their place to bring up concerns about your man, but it just does bring in that question of like, well, if you're dating someone like that, what are your beliefs? Like, what are your stands? And there are some people who can't support that whatsoever. Respect it, get it. It's the people who just like go on this whole, I am holier than God rampage, just to turn around and stream it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know y'all seen some people on Twitter like that. You know exactly what I'm talking about, but I think the one that's really sticking out to me is the line in a tweet that I'm probably still gonna stand by. Cause I do think there is a part of Doja that's like, maybe I did go a little far. But like, at the end of the day, that's what I was feeling in the moment. I stand by it. Okay. 
And that's gonna go into Gun, which is track seven. Like we're really just cruising through this project, which is crazy because when I first initially looked at it, I was like, oh God, 17 tracks, almost an hour. I'm gonna be filming for a minute. We're like already to the meat of the project. I will say, cause again, I know that Doja said half of the project, like the first half is very different from the second half. I think I'm gonna vibe more with whatever that second half is because I did actually like attention. I don't know, like as much as I love like hard fun Doja, I really appreciate her softer side. I don't know what it is. I just, I really like it. So all these songs going after demons make sense. I feel like it's a lot of that same mindset of like, these are my demons. These are maybe the not so great parts of me or the not so great parts of what has happened in the last couple of months. That being said though, the only one that I've really vibed with so far is Ouchies and it's the shortest track. So you for that. My dumbass, I was like, okay, we're gonna talk about guns. So fucking dumb. James Dean, let me in them jeans. Put me on your hip and let me ride it till I cream. I just <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I'm a silencer. Nigga. Here's Christ. a new position for now. Silencer, like on a gun. That's a good bar. Do I like this? Sure. I just really want like a standout song. I mean, Ouchie so far has been the one, but like I feel like I could gravitate more towards the song. Shut up. Shut up. Hold on. body bitch i felt it oh i really like that one okay what's it sh 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 shut shut show sh sh like shut your mouth kind of thing that was the widest thing i've ever said i apologize oh my god do i need to get on my knees and apologize because that was so embarrassing that was bad see because we got different sounds going that's a sample i don't know the actual yeah, 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 things to be happy about when my check up why they run I kind of figured it'd be like that. See, but she sounds better saying it than me. Gee, I wonder fucking why. Got good head up on her shoulders. Hope this neck lasts. I'm gonna fall off when I want. They gon' be spec. Keep your morals high in this industry. Y'all gon' make me sick, body bitch. Where's body bitch? Put you in the box. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for the reference. I was like, that's the only thing. Does anyone know anything else from? Let me not be mean. Looking real overseas, hips, motherland. I can't sit in my chair, zip on my pants. I did. See, this one could have been shorter though, and we could have given some time to ouchie, ouchies. I'm still better. Why is that song only two minutes? Two minutes and two seconds. That's so disrespectful. Okay, so we're going on to Agora Hills. Are we getting? some 80s references or am I crazy but I know this one is a single I haven't really seen the music video I knew when to get off Twitter when clips of it started popping up and I was like oh this looks good it's her visuals never disappoint Doja Cat knows how to make a music video pass it on right <laughs> We're gonna ignore that this is probably about her man because goddamn it's fun. I see you there. No, you hang up. Period. You hang up. Something different about you. Love it when he hit and smacked you. Baby. I love her music when she does shit like this. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate her rapping. I know she can do it. I know she got bars. I've just never seen someone, at least in recent years, be able to take like the pop singing style and effortlessly mix it with rapping. I think the most like prevalent example I can think of in my mind is like when you listen to K-pop. I know it's a whole different thing. There are times where those groups do not need to be rapping. This song does not need it. Or when people have features, which is why I really don't like features on pop songs with the rapper because it's just this verse 
thrown on there where it's like, maybe if we had thought five more minutes on it, it would sound better. Doja is able to take what I hate about mixing, singing, and rapping together and infuse it into just this most delicious, just almost aggravating thing in my mind because it's just so good. This is gonna be one of my songs. Who that man with the big strong hands on a rass in the club with the past beat, that's you. And her voice, it's like kind of that bitchy like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. See, I like the rapping like this, where it just flows. It's a combo. It's not just like, I'm just making bars on top of bars. You know what I mean? It's so lonely in my mansion. Period. We get it. You're rich. <laughs> you are richer than some of us will ever aspire to be. Oh, this chorus though. I wanna tighten up. I wanna show you up. This is so good, dude. That's gonna go into Can't Wait. I know myself so f***ing well. I knew the later half of this project was gonna be more my sound. So now I get to sit pretty. <laughs> and just enjoy because like when I do my ranking and the majority of the first part of the projects at the bottom I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear jack shit about it Can't wait to get Whoa, next come to on. And for her to improve her vocals as much as she did from hot pink to planet her. How do you not utilize that? Come on Maybe I want to gush about you. I want to be this bitch is in love Damn, what's that like? Too much, but I am always me around you. But when you leave, I'm moving very awkwardly without you. I love what you said, sweet. I love you, mon chéri. And Ooh. if you feel the need, there was some spice to that too. Okay, okay, accent. She said, wee oui, wee, oui, baguette, cigarette. <laughs> Get next to you. Very old school. Very, very reminiscent. Kind of of a simpler time, <laughs> a better time. I like it, I liked it. It's gonna go into Miss Often. I see the title, not gonna lie, I think of The Weeknd. It's probably one of my favorite songs from him. What does that say about me? I don't know. This got like old school hip hop vibes to it, no? Let's do this often. Right, like it's very mature, it's refined. It aged well like a bottle of wine. Girl, let me write. <laughs> There is some interesting, funky shit happening in the back in this production. <laughs> that little thing, what the f is that? It sounds like a spaceship. You must make your touch so proud. Why you bumping, riding on me? You must do this so because I Okay, so this was the first in the bunch where I'm like, it might be in the middle pack for me. It might be like, the last track in this sound before we get to the to the first part of the album. But I will say, now looking at the track list and hearing it, I feel like it's actually flowed really well with the sound. I really appreciate that. And that's why you have to listen to an album in order. You should do that anyway. If you shuffle an album the first time you listen to it, or you just kinda jail. Psycho behavior. What's your what's your sentence for, for her? Electric chair. I'm excited for love life. I've been eyeballing this one, I'm not even gonna lie. I will have to say though, we're on track 13 of 17. This has gone by so fast. And I think half of it is because the first half, I wasn't really saying shit. I'm just like, okay, this is a song. But this later half, I really like it. Does it justify her behavior? I don't think anything will fully justify it to me. Love it when my life's like this. I love it when my life's like this. Life's like this. Love it when my life's like this. Y'all, did you know she loves it when her life's like this? I love it when my life's like. I heard, girl. I love it when my clothes smell fresh. I love it when my fans speak French. I love. You spoke French earlier. I love showing them brand new tracks. I love roasting them all and hearing them all roast me back. Y'all never had no friends like that. I love. I love to hear that. Love it when my mom cook food. She baked that mac. I love hearing the roar when I go on the stage on tour. You can tell. I love it when my fans love change. That's how we change the game. Exactly. I love it. I love this is so wholesome. This is cute. Especially being like such a big star. I can see where just these little moments actually mean the most. 
Okay, little beach boy. <laughs> I know I've been the root of the cause. I know I've had a temper before, but still y'all don't quit. Interesting to hear this verse after everything we heard in the beginning. I feel like we hear so much in Doja's lyrics. I feel like this is the most personal and the most like vulnerable. This, I've, I feel like I've connected with her on a different level. Not in a weird way. No one yell at me. I'm just like, okay, I understand where you're coming from. I get it, I see you as a person. I do think that intro could have been a little shorter. It was in a little repetitive. Like save it for the chorus, you know? I don't mind usually putting a chorus in the front, but if it's repetitive, then I kind of do. Okay, but that's gonna go on to Skull and Bones. We're really in this sound now. Oh my God. She was not kidding when she said, this side of the project and this side of the project are two different things. You need to mind your business, Helga Pataki. Now why is Miss Helga Pataki catching strays? Oh my God, what did she do? I mean, what didn't she do? What's that one scene? It always like makes its round on Twitter and I just forget that that was a thing. Arnold, you make my girlhood tremble. <laughs> Nickelodeon! Y'all nasty over there. Damn, I was just not expecting that name. <laughs> Watch Hey Arnold, I don't even know how long, but that is funny. I'ma make it through 27, y'all superstitious. I'ma say jinx on my 28 when you owe me sodas. There is a part of me that always wants to cry when artists mention, oh, I'm gonna turn 28 because of the whole like 27 club. There's so many great people who have passed away at the age of 27. And I'm just like, oh God, no more. Too young, too young. Yeah, I've been pushing Satan this and Satan that. My fans is yelling, least she rich, you need that path. <laughs> elevate the bar, the world's losing faith cause it's cold. That's gonna lead into attention. I'm like, let me listen to attention. I, I mean, I guess I've heard it, but let me listen to it in context of the album. I thought attention would be the first one to like kind of separate the two sounds. So I'm surprised to see it so low on the track list, especially with it being the first one that was released, right? I never caught on to the producer tag. That's the same one you hear in fucking Planet Her. No wonder I like this song. Look at me, look at me. You're looking, my tape, but I ain't never lost a tushy. Period. Looking good, but now my bald head hey, match my. my looking good, but <laughs> sad that you really thought your ass, ass was, was above me. me. You're lucky, cause I, I really like this one. I thought like this was a really good response to everything that had been happening. Almost more than like any other f you song that could happen. Because th this is just facts. Like you can't argue with it. Vulnerability, earn me a lot of bacon. Put a thong in my ass and taught you how to shake it. Cause we don't wanna see them mm, the production. Oh, so good. Why did I never catch that? I'm an idiot. I have no idea how to pronounce this. I'm not gonna lie. rapping better where like there's a theme it makes sense it's not just like how many things can we just put together in a verse you know is it coke is it crack is it may not be any of them what the fuck do she put in them hits oh well if you want to if you want to say that yeah it's all all of it all three combined i kind of like the cockiness of this though of like yeah it was easy i got what i wanted nothing bothers me don't know about all that. I like the cockiness. It's like a subtle, it's like taking candy from a baby. It's subtle, it's cute. And that's gonna go into our last song, which is also really short. It's a freestyle. Fuck this beat. Yeah, fuck it. Wait, fuck it. Wait. <laughs> fuck up all them other albums. Interesting to end it with this production because we're back to the beginning of the project. Ain't no beef. Ain't no sides. Ain't no competition when they hear me slide. Was a sellout till I noticed I got dry, bitch. Okay, we do not need to disrespect the past work. <laughs> Over 
flow of growth, y'all bitches thinning. I love the production. It's so dramatic. It's so cinematic. This is what she would do on live. This is Doja. This is Doja. She's such a f***ing troll, but I love it. Well, I don't love it all the time. But in the context of that for the album, I love it. Okay, so we made it to the end of the project. What in the hell do you guys think? <laughs> Because I kind of feel like I'm gonna be in a minority here where I don't think the projects I don't think the projects bad. I do not think the projects bad But it is really interesting to have the two different sounds going on I know like I said they were both kind of made at two different points And I just can't help but think like there was a lot of shit that was bothering her that she went and made the first half of the project just to kind of prove a point of like, no, I can do this because the whole concept of like, if I am a sellout, like I only make pop hits, we wouldn't really have like the second half of the album. Granted, it's not really poppy. It's not like her other projects. I will give her that, but it does kind of still have like that vibe, that feeling, that message. And I do think that it's okay to maybe acknowledge where you want to go and then just evolve with it without making it a whole ordeal. She said it in a song, like my fans let me grow and that's what you need to focus on. I do think if you listen to this project, you will find something that you do like. Granted, it may be half of the project, it may be the whole thing, it may be just one song. Do I think this is gonna be my favorite project from her? No, I can tell you that right now. This is my ranking right now, the project. I know I don't sound very confident, because I'm not, <laughs> I just, like this is after editing and listening to it a few times. Um, yeah, it's kind of where we're sitting. Let me know if you feel the same way or if you disagree entirely. I have a really fun video planned for you guys next week. I hope you stick around and see it. If not, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe maybe, I don't really know. Take care of yourself and I love you a lot.